As some of you may have read on the website previously, we have been looking at the fortunes of an up-and-coming racing driver who stands out from the crowd a little bit. Well, we have a treat for you because she has agreed to come into the studio and talk to us. So put your hands together and give a big warm pie and piston welcome to Charlie Martin. Hi, Joe. Hi, Hi, James. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. So then, how did all this start? How did you get involved in hill climbing? Um, well, one of my best friends at school, um, his dad used to hill climb and he uh, used to go away for the weekends. He really enjoyed it. And how long ago was this? Uh, this is going back to when I was about eight, nine years old, right through my teens and up until I finished uni. What is it about hill climbing? Because you know, there's, there's a lot of time and effort for what could be 45 seconds of competitive driving and yet you know hours and days and weeks of preparation. I think one of the great things with hill climbing is that it's very affordable. Yeah. Hill climbing you can start in your own car, your road car, right. turn up, have a great weekend racing with a lot of friends. You know it doesn't cost you much money really. Amazing. So, so when, when was your first race and what car was it in? It was in 2006 in a Peugeot 205. PH favourite? Yes, good. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. a great little car. I had a MI16 engine. I bought it for £1,500. So it's pretty much kind of, you could almost buy a shed of the week and, uh, and yeah. take it hill climbing exactly. if you found the right one. And from there, things accelerated quite quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I ran the Peugeot for about four years and developed it a bit. Right. And uh, then I wanted to go for something rear wheel drive. There's a really good class for Caterhams and Westfields. So I bought a Westfield right. and ran that for about four years. And James. And you know, obviously, it's like Caterham loyalty is this side of the room, but um, you yeah. know. I don't even know what a Westfield is, if I'm honest. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> so what did you have to do to the car to make it competitive? Well, unfortunately it needed a massive engine rebuild. Right. They all do that, it's Westfield thing, I've just heard. Getting the car set up for hill climbs, um, because they're quite bumpy courses sometimes, it's too stiff, which is what it was, because it was set up for circuits, right. it just didn't handle. Okay, and now a big step, you are going to compete in Europe, in France, on mm -hmm. some much bigger courses. What prompted you to make that, that change? Well, to be honest, I've always Loved the idea of competing in Europe. Last year I did a, an invitation event okay. with, uh, with a friend. That was in Brittany. And I think you did quite well, didn't you? I did, <laughs> yeah. It was a surprise, to be yeah. honest. I won the class and set a new class record. It just made me think, this is, you know, this is what I've got to do this right. year. I've got to come back and try and do more, more racing in France. You couldn't <clears throat> compete with Westfield in France, is that right? Sadly not. The Westfield's not homologated <laughs> right. in France. So it meant changing the car entirely um, for something else. So what have you gone for? I've gone for a Formula Renault. Wow. It's quite, a quite little step. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, I always wanted to go for a single-seater yeah. eventually. That was really the idea of the Westfield, to you know, use that as a stepping stone. And so just for people that aren't aware, then, give us some facts about Formula Renaults then. So it uses the Renault Sport 2-litre engine. Mm -hmm. It's about 190 brake, and it's got a Sadev six-speed sequential box, mm -hmm. um, full aero, carbon tub, um, and pretty quick, Drop. they're 0 yep. to 104.8, and I think they'll do about 165 with the right gearing. That, that'll, uh, Which is enough. That, that'll do, yeah. 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 <laughs> on, on, a, on a road hill. <laughs> so, you brought the car in to show us? No, I'm sorry, sadly I couldn't bring it today. Sorry, mm, sorry guys, but I have brought you a little video of the van and the car that I can show you. Okay, cool. Green, go for it. it. So this is basically going to show you, there's a fridge here that plugs into the cigarette lighter. Essential. Essential, yeah. Yeah, to keep your food cold. The champagne, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. The van is split into two levels. Below it is the garage bit. Above it is the like living area. So it's, it's a Renault van as well, isn't it? It is, yeah. Built in the same year as the car. Lots of butterflies I'm seeing. Yeah, well, I kind of like to make it look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the bed. There's a shower in here, lighting, wow. sockets. This is now the back of the van. So there's some ramps that goes up and down like a tail lift so it's just roll the car in. Dirty water goes in there, then there's a gas and then that is the battery to oh, run properly it, so. well organised. So who gets the better accommodation, you or the car? <laughs> the car's probably winning to be honest. The thing's got a bit more space than me. It is a tight fit in there but um, oh, it's super cool. Though. Everything goes in. And, and how did this go? Did you design all this yourself or you had help doing it or to be honest, there's um, there's a few guys on Guernsey who've done this similar kind of format of conversion. Right. So they've helped me quite a bit and I've really just sort of copied their design of, um, of doing it and kind of adapted it a little bit. Yeah. Um, everything really has to be built around the car. So it's put yeah. the car in, measure around it, and then really see what space you've got left. So what are we looking at here? So here I've actually drawn around the car when it's in there, so oh, I, I can see, see right. where I can put stuff when it's not in there. So it's tight fit. It's very tight. Amazing. Well, it looks like you're all geared Impressive up for the stuff. season. And yeah. I think so. I'm mean, ready as I've ever you know, felt for ready something like this. So um, yeah. Excellent. Can't Fantastic. Wait. 